Greetings YouTube, this is Toy Customizer Wake Angel 2001 bringing you a personal project. The one and only Mecha Sally from issue 230 of the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book. So of course the base figure for Mecha Sally is going to be Metal Sonic uh, because for some reason or another Metal Sally's design actually ended up being extremely similar to his. Uh, of course you're probably seeing that this is a pretty battle damaged Metal Sonic figure that is because I got this on the secondary market for um, the the cost of well nothing I just uh, I traded for a silver figure and got this so it's, it, it's damaged but it was intact enough for me to make this custom so I'm gonna work with him okay so first up is the arms uh, Mecha Sally doesn't have those shoulder pads that Metal Sonic has so I took them off but then the pegs that connect the shoulders underneath were too long and they were making the joints floppy. So what I did was I pulled those long pegs out and switched them with the shorter pegs from a pair of Amy Rose arms I had lying around in my fodder bin. Um, we'll see the arms all painted up later, so, but for now let's move on to the legs, which use uh, a little bit more work. So yes, the legs. Um, again, Mecha Sally's legs are pretty much identical to Metal Sonic's, so it's mostly a repaint, uh, except for her shoelace thingies, which um, I made out of foam board. That's actually a piece of foam board that is cut in half lengthwise to make it thinner, because regular foam board would be way too thick. And um, I debated on whether I would put this part on, but I figured I had to match the look as closely as possible, so I put what I'm going to call the thigh panels. Uh, it, it basically just a piece of craft foam stuck to the side of the leg, painted brown. Um, I, I did this for accuracy, but if I might uh, bring it up, uh, I really, this is the one flaw of Mecha Sally's design to me. I, I don't like these um, flat thigh panel things. I mean, just just give her thighs or give her skinny legs. Don't 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 half-ass it with these weird panels. What 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 is that? Okay, so let's move on to the most involved part of the build, which is of course Mecha Sally's upper torso. Now you may be looking at this and wondering which figure I use as a base for that because it doesn't really match anything. The answer is that it's made from scratch. Yes, um. I never would have tried this with my polymer clay, because that stuff tends to crumble if you move it too much. But, um, but when, when I found out how strong my Super Sculpey was, I thought, oh yeah, this could totally work as a substitute. Now, I probably wouldn't do this for every female body that I ever make, because, um, with Mecha Sally, everything is all angular, so I don't have to worry about making things round and curvy in all the right spots. Um, however, it does reattached to um, what what you just saw was Metal Sonic's original hips with um, Sally's little pointed tail made on the back so this upper torso is actually made to work with Mecha, with Metal Sonic's actual original parts so they, they blend pretty seamlessly and with the now painted arm stuck in you can see how well it it actually does look pretty awesome and and it is my first real custom fabricated part for an action figure. And of that, I am very proud. Um, so yeah, let's uh, take a quick look at her body completed. You see, I wanted those legs to be securely in so that I wouldn't have to worry about them wobbling because the shoulders wobble just a little bit. So I, I, that's another reason I kept the original hips. Um, so this is uh, Me Mecha Sally's body and... Um, yeah, it's a really proud accomplishment of mine. All that really leaves is the head. So, it's of course still going to be Metal Sonic's head because the shapes are so similar. But, um, I found something interesting when I cut off the top spine because it wasn't necessary. And that is that Metal Sonic is the only Jazzwares figure I've seen so far, which is cast in a white plastic, which is then painted. Most other figures I've seen are basically cast in the primary color that the character is, and then only details are painted. Now that's an interesting little observation. Okay, so once I cut that top spine off, I, I used the sander to file the head into a, a rounder shape, 
and began to, you know, make it look like Sally. I had to cover the bridge between the eyes. I had to, um, make the eyes just a little bit narrower because Metal Sonic's eyes go way back into his head. I gave her eyelids, eyebrows, and eyelashes, and of course I sculpted on her hair. Um, if there was just one little flaw, I'd say that the ears on Metal Sonic are a little closer together than Sally's actually are, so I should have, like, reattached those ears in a different position, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, and, uh, I'll keep, I'll keep a note of that if I ever had to make another one of these in the future. So, here is the mighty Mecha Sally in all of her glory! Uh, everyone's favorite chipmunk princess is... Uh, now an evil robot minion. Will will she be turned back to normal? Will she be killed? Will Dr. Eggman extract the secrets of Not Whole Village from her head? Is that even possible to do? Because I remember in Sonic Underground they said that you couldn't access the human memories. But, you know, that that is a different continuity. But um, the only thing that we can do is read the comic and wait to find out. Now for a little bit of levity. What? Mecha, Sally? Eh, eh. I now pronounce you compatible hardware. I object, Sally. We belong together. Look, I even converted just for you.